Um, hello guys. Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I beat Terraria Calamity um, in Revengers mode, actually, but uh, now I'm in death mode. But how I beat it as a summoner. Um, let's get straight into it. Um, the beginning of your summoner journey will definitely be difficult, as you will start with using basically garbage. I think what I started with, if I could remember, it was Wolfram. It was the Wolfram hat, or Wolfram's full set. And you gotta brave your way with the full Wolfram set and the Wolfram controller. Don't mind my damages, that won't mean anything. I've got the best arm in the game. But you gotta brave with the Wolfram gear all the way to the jungle just to get the Snapthorn. And once you make that, you finally feel powerful. With your Wolfram armor and your controller in hand, you go to fight the first bosses. Like Eye Cthulhu, Brain of Cthulhu, which is surprisingly easy with the whip. And... Hmm. What is it? Uh, Skeletron. But, your Wolfram armor is not doing it for Perfectors or Skeletron. You need something better. Which, what I would recommend, switching your armor to Obsidian armor. The Obsidian Outlaw set. I used all the way up to the wall of, to the, to the post Slime God fight. And then I switched to Statue armor, but we'll get to that later. And you want to use this armor, and for your summon, if I'm correct, you want to use the Imp Staff? Yeah, Imp Staff. You can grab this after you beat the brain. So get the Imp Staff, and get. I would recommend also getting the Fire Blossom. Or whatever it's called. Um, it's, it's like a rose, it's not mandatory, I would, you just need the M staff, technically. But, if you do want that, you could technically have it, if you really want it. Um, next. Okay, I didn't realize that did so much damage, jeez. Okay, sorry, I'm getting out of touch. I'm get uh, whatever. Uh, also, use a little help. The best reforge for any summon weapon is ruthless. It's just the best thing for summoners. That's what I always use for mine. Just, just use it, man. It's good. Next, um, accessories matter. Okay, I'll be going over armor in this video. But keep in mind, accessories are a game changer. As you can see, my accessories here. It's not calamity, as you can tell, but, you know. As you can see by my accessories, they count. Like, look at one of these accessories. Increases my rage damage by 23%. Also, if I'm correct, I have rage outside of Revengeance or Death or whatever. Although, I would always... I did play for a lot of the game outside of Death Mode. And revenge mode because I thought summoner was too bad of a class until I found until I learned how bad um, rogue was. Rogue somehow worse than summoner, which is like the hardest class to play because how squishy it is. Yeah, I literally hit, like like if you look at um the hollowed hood, like let's show you that late uh, like a hard mode thing. One defense. One. That's kind of ridiculous. Finally got this cape, bro. That literally <laughs> took me all game. Anyways. Um. Don't mind me. Uh, where was I? Yeah. So, you just beat the Perfectors. You feel amazing. Next, it's Skeletron. And I would kind of recommend just the exact same setup. Just get all that stuff and be done with it. Next, you want to make it's like the blood. It's this the not the blood cot staff. 
Wait a second, give me a second. I can't remember for the life of me what this weapon is. Sorry, I'm back. And I got the weapon in. It's the Flesh of Affinity. Yep, Flesh of Affinity if you're in Crimson or the Eye of Corruption. I have Night if you're in Corruption. Now, you want to use his newly earned summons, which you can get just after beating this guy with the Staff of Necromancy. And you want to beat the Slime God. I'll show you that. If I have one of the summons. Do I have his summon? No. Okay. Uh, yeah. But after you beat the Slime God, you will get Purified Gel. I can show you that right now. Uh, purified. I can't spell. Purified. Oh my god. Well, just know uh, if I could find it. Help. This. Purified gel. And since you're summoner, you want to add, get the statue hood, which of course has four de defense, like even though the rest have like five, seven, whatever. You want to get the statue hood. And the rest of the full statue set. And then you are pretty good to fight the moon. Not the moon lord. What am I saying? You're pretty good to fight the wall of flesh. Just make sure you build a long platform and keep running. Remember, accessories matter. I recommend. Ta I had. I think I had Terror Spark boots at this point. Just r swap a couple worlds. Get the Terror Spark boots. Right. And then. After all this, so, you are now in hard mode, you feel great about yourself, but the game's only getting harder from now on, as I think you think, that just kind of makes sense. This is kind of how it goes in most games, but, you know, I just had to point that out. The game's gonna get really hard, and just, here's all I have to say, don't give up. You may want to give up, but just don't give up. I know it may be really painful to die on that boss for the, like, 80th time or whatever. I don't know how long you take to beat Wall of Flesh. But, trust me, it's worth it in the long run. Um, um, literally. Thank you for breaking. Um, yeah. But the next thing, so you're in hard mode now, what do you do? Well, first of all, um, you don't panic, because it's not that big of a deal. You're in hard mode, you want to look for spider's nests, and you want to get the spider, the spider armor set. Here, this will put you at a nice 30 something defense or whatever. With all your accessories. Now you want to get the ice chunk. It's not a recipe. But it'll drop from the hard mode ice enemies. This. The ancient ice chunk. Drop from these guys. It's an end game thing that I don't feel like crafting. Um, but. Yeah. So after you're there. You be in cryogen and stuff. Um, which you don't have to be at the start of hard mode. But I think bossless wants you to. If we could find here. I don't know. Man, but... Anyways. You really don't have to be cryogen yet. You can wait till whatever. Post. Uh, post. I can't think of it. Oh, post calamity. Post plant era with that, or post calamitous clone, whatever you want. And once you've got your summons and stuff, you want to take these guys to the mechanical bosses. And now it's hollowed or Dreon armor. Dreon's from Cryogen. I'd recommend it. Not, not Dreon. Daedalus. I can't spell. I never know how to spell this. There you go. And this stuff is a game changer, especially with the Daedalus Golem Staff. This thing, the Daedalus Golem Staff, oh, it's a game changer. 
after this, you have access to the spooky event. But I recommend not making spooky wood armor, but instead making, it's like, I'd recommend making both. But, yeah, well, because you can use upgrade this later. But, wait. Let me quickly just get... Wait, I, for the life of me, I can't remember what some of these items are. Give me a second. Head to this girl. Not vanilla treasure bag, so... Also, this is a good point to bring up. I'd recommend always having money. It's called Ten Nevis. Okay, I'd always recommend having money. Because some, some um, things will... Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Some NPCs will sell you really good stuff. It's called, it's called Ten Nevis, right? Um, wait, I gotta find what this armor is called. I, you have to use depth stuff. Yes, you do. It's called Fathom Swarmer. This is the upgraded spider stuff. It is what I use the spooky armor and the Fathom Swarmer stuff. Interchangeable. Um, it's kind of up to personal preference. But the next thing you're going to want to do, so... You be in Plantera and stuff. You got the Calamitous clone behind you. Now you're on to Gollum. Now Gollum's pretty easy. But you are going to have to beat one boss beforehand. Which is Astrium Dreyas. Now I think Astrium Dreyas is harder than Gollum. But he is actually pre-Gollum. So you're going to want to fight him first. Understandable? Good. Next. You've beaten Gollum, you're moving on, and I'll tell you the armor you want to have for this, actually. I think you could just literally use exactly the same stuff and go straight to Gollum. You could literally just use the same armor for Gollum. But after Gollum, your armor's going to change. To the Plaguebringer Goliath armor set, which I will show you right now. Um, you want to make... Playbringer armor. Sorry, guys. I literally just realized this too, but I was. You want to have spooky or fathom swarmer armor for Astrid, Andreas, and Gollum. Sorry about that. But you want to have the Playbringer visor, the Playbringer pistons, and the Playbringer carapace. Trust me. I had these. Jeez. Anyways. Uh, what time? Jeez. It's pretty late. Anyways. Sorry about that. You want to have this Playbringer set. And the summon I think I used was the Terra Prisma. You can't craft the Terra Prisma. Duh. Um, but. But, um. Yeah. You want to have. The Terra Prisma, I just recommend it. Uh, you use it from... And you don't change any of your stuff by getting, like, an element harder, like, accessory or two. But, right... Jeez, I'm tired. Sorry about that. Anyways. Next. You be Blue Lord. Now you're getting into the real Calamity stuff for, like... Uh, it starts to get really hard. Um, and it's like, you don't have any, like, weak little vanilla bosses to hold over. Like, Gollum. Uh, no. You just have to deal with all the hard bosses. Back to back to back. Next. It's the Chicken Nuggets, or the Profound Guardians, whatever one you call them. They look like Chicken Nuggets. Um, but whatever you want to call them. Right. It, you're starting to get to the area of the game where you can make the upgraded super healing potions, supreme healing potions, which I would obviously recommend. I would always recommend getting that. It's just unnecessary, honestly. 
I just have it lying around, you know. It's just nice to have. I don't know what I'm trying to get out here, but... Um... Uh, what was I saying? Jeez. Wait, how can I not remember what I was saying? Oh yeah, Providence. We're getting out of Providence now. Now you want to upgrade yourself to to the sol to not celestial to your post Moonlord armor like Stardust. And I would recommend the Element Axe. I'll show you the recipe for the Element Axe right now. I have this Element Axe. It's good. The Element Axe. There. Um, I know it looks hard to make. It's not that hard to make. It doesn't take that long. It takes like 20 minutes max. Um. Tired. I don't know why I'm still saying this, but. Anyways. Um. Yeah. There you go. Um. Okay. How do I keep getting lost? Jeez. I have like. Where, where am I? Okay, yep. Yeah, you just be Providence. Next, what are you going to do? Next, what you're actually going to do. Is you're going to. Um. If I could remember, geez, what's that? The Servants of the Scourge. And now you're starting to get to some crazy territory, because you're fighting Poltergast. I know this maybe feel like it's going way too fast, but trust me, you're probably not ready for Poltergast. So fight the Servants of the Scourge first. Just do it. It lets you make the dog summon. I know you probably don't want to fight the power of God, and you're like, ah, I'm gonna die, ah. But trust me, you probably won't. Here, build the. What's it called? How can I not think of this one thing I'm trying to say is called? Get the. Uh. Oh, yeah. Be the Cygnus Envy of the Devourer and get the the element the lamp it's called like soul lamp or whatever beat this dude let's see if I can get it this the Cosmo lamp there you go first try nice oh it's that voice crack jeez you want to get the Cosmo lamp and um yeah, with the Gosling Lamp, you could use it. I think I used it for... Dog? Maybe? I'm not sure. I think I did use it all the way up to Dog. Which is a pretty good lifespan. Oh wait, did I? No. I didn't. Sorry. So, you want to get this Cosmo Lamp, and then run out to the dungeon. And, post Moon Lord, the dungeon is a lot different than what it was, like, pre-Moon Lord. Post Moon Lord, the dungeon is, like, crazy. That's how, that's all I can describe it as. Crazy. Let's just get into what the dungeon is. Okay. I like this little guy better. I like the pumpkin. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Those are all. There we go. Cool. I'm back to my normal pets. Okay. What do you want for Devourer of Gods? Now, in armor's sake, you want to have at this point. What is it? Yes. Blood Flare. 
armor. You're gonna have this, this, and this. Make sure you're keeping this armor, by the way. It's gonna be useful later. Trust me. Right? And with this blood fair armor, you and with the summon at hand, which is a summon drop from um Poltergast, it will carry you in and past the dog fight until you be dog. And now we're getting to the crazy stuff. Because we're getting to the end game of Calamity. Welcome. Make sure you're getting your heart upgrades by the way, as you can see there. Anyways, welcome to the very end game of Calamity. It's gonna start to get ridiculous from now on. And it may feel like you literally can't do anything to these bosses because they're so freaking hard. But just hear me out. You'll get you'll live another day, you'll get through, you'll be fine. And let's get into the end of the game. Um Alright. So, you just beat dog. Next moving on to yarn. If you don't know who I'm talking about when I said dog, it's devour gods. Not everyone calls him dog, I call him dog, but I know not everyone does, so there you go. If you don't call him dog, that's what I call him. Dog. But you don't have to. Not everyone does. Okay, moving on. Next, you got Yarn. Now, I would recommend having the Fear Monger set. That's what I used. I think I still have it kicking around somewhere. But you could also use the Silva set, which you will need for a later crafting recipe. Gotta have it. Yep, Fear Monger set. It's a really good set. Honestly, look, 50 defense. Or 50 defense. It's a really good set, honestly. This is when we start hitting the. I don't know why I said honestly so many times. But this is when you start to hit like the 900s of health, the 900s. You're getting really close to pushing a thousand, but not quite there yet. And now you beat Yarm, not that hard of a boss. I think I just beat him first try, I think. I think I beat him first try, yeah. And then after that. You are moving on to the final challenge of your fight, of your of the game, not including the boss rush, Dreon, or the XMX, and Supreme Calamitous. I would recommend having a Rubik Tesla gear. I literally beat the game today, so I still have this kicking around. Yep, a Rubik Tesla gear made with a Rubik ore, which is literally everywhere, and yarn soles. I could show you the work are and you get yarn souls from beating yarn of course you get like 30 to 40 I think in master mode which if you're not playing in master mode what are you doing okay anyways if I could put the map up and geez took it all off look a or or all that yellow is a or look at all of it that's the abyss of course you're not gonna run out of a or anytime soon Um, so, just don't worry about it. You're definitely fine on a Rurik Ore. Last but not least, your summon of choice is the Yarns Kindle. That's what I used. I love the Yarns Kindle. Make sure they're all ruthless. Thanks for watching. You're now the most powerful summoner in the whole game. Do whatever you want from now on, because you can. Enjoy the boss rush and adult Eidolon Worm. I still haven't beat them. I'll report back to you when I have. Peace out, guys. Enjoy being the hardest class in the game. Bye-bye.